So when I teach book two of the Kindergarten Sing, Spell, Read, and Write, the first few pages are just review, so through page 12. And then every day before we start any lesson, she does this song with either the large placement or the page from the book. I think this is track two on the CD. When we learn these sounds, you'll see. Ready to read, then we will be. So she goes through that whole song. And then I have her do the ABC Echoes song, which I'm pretty sure is the next track on the CD. So where the, the teacher says, um, A, 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 and then I think they have a kid do it. And then sometimes I try to have her do that without the track. So I have her try to go through and say the sounds for each of these. So that's the first thing, like that's just kind of a review that I have her do every time before we start any kind of lesson. So then in this book, the next thing they want them to do is really, really, really learn that these are the vowels and these are the sounds they make. So there's the track on the um, CD that's um, a -a 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 apple, a -a 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 egg, and you really wanna make sure that they're making the a -e sound for egg, the i sound for inchworm, the a -e and the a, -e, and getting those right so that when they start to blend and segment words um, they're using the correct vowel sounds so after she's learned this song then we practice um, the vowel song every day too so right away the first thing we do for any lesson is three songs um, and we won't always do those we won't always start with three songs but while we're still reviewing and learning then she always starts with three songs so she can either use this page when she sings the vowel, short vowel song, or she can use the page that has the large cards. Mm, her large cards are back in here somewhere, I'm sure. Yeah, these big yellow cards. She can lay these out and use them. So it gives her a couple different ways to enjoy the song. So then, that to me is a basically another review page. Okay, so this Ferris wheel song, this I feel like goes way too fast on the CD track. So I would encourage you to memorize the song or um, use it without the track, especially way in the beginning. We just start with one ticket a day. So she gets one ticket a day um, or one ticket. And then as I see that she's mastered that or she understands the skill set, then she gets another ticket. So right now she's only got the five star tickets. She just got the last star ticket. And you want to do all of the tickets that are just um, consonant sounds by themselves first. So you'll want to do the stars go in this order. Star, square, circle. Because you don't want to do these blends until they've mastered the, um, sound, the consonant sound alone. So I just sing this song for her round and round and up and down the Ferris wheel we go. I sing the song so you'll have to listen to it a couple times but it's catchy so you'll get it. And then she gets her ticket and I say vowels and she goes around a, eh, e, eh, i, eh, a, 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 i, e, a. And then she gets the next ticket. I should have the tickets out and ready please. So she'll get the next ticket and I think it's b. So then she's going to put these two sounds together, ba, be, bi, ba, ba, and around. So I have her lay out all five tickets, and she likes me to sing the whole song in between each ticket. That's up to you, whatever you can get away with. Um, but she goes around the whole thing, and she practices blending those sounds together. So in the very beginning, Amelia had to say, b, a, fa. She really had to work to blend those sounds together, b, a, ba. So that took a really long time for her. So that's why I only did one ticket a day because this might have taken her five minutes to get up and around the whole Ferris wheel with just one sick ticket of blending. Um, for a long time she was struggled with the eh, i, and uh sounds. So just the vowel sounds took her a long time. So there's no shame in stopping and saying, you know, we're just going to work on this one ticket until we've mastered it or until I can see that you have the skill set down really well. So. Once we do a Ferris wheel sound, um, then looking at these pages, this is the same kind of skill set. It's just learning to blend more sounds. So I will have her cover this up, blend these two sounds for me, ra, and then we talk about what each of these pictures are and what that sound ends with, ra, g. And so I'll have her cut all of these out 
I have her lay them out and work on them for me, but not glue them until Mommy has checked them. And I don't feel like there's any right time for you to do these pages. Just, um, you know, if you've done a couple tickets on the Ferris wheel and she still has time and energy, then let her, you know, maybe let her do one of these pages. But I don't think that there's any right or wrong way to do it. Same with this, ours are stuck together. Same with, like, these pages. You know, she needs to sound this word out. And I mean, one day we sounded out the first two words. She got frustrated. We put the whole thing away. Um, and then we started again the next day. So this, even this, took us two days, just one workbook page. And that's okay. And so we have not done all of these. But I went ahead and let her start working on these just to kind of mix things up. So again, it's just the physical and mental act of um, blending words together so she colored this then you slip this in and she's gonna blend the first two sounds just like on the ferris wheel bah and then she's gonna put the ending sound on it and I mean this took her you know two or three days just working through um, getting these sounds and getting fluid with them you want to see fluency in that so we're still working through all of these pages we're still working through all of that ferris wheel blending and segmenting and all of that um, so we'll continue to do that just day by day um, bit by bit and I think the curriculum says end every day with a game because they always even if something's been hard they want you to end it with a positive um, happy upbeat thing so I mean honestly I don't always get that done but that's where you could end with pick a sound from the merry-go-round which is like go fish except for Instead of, do you have an A, you want to hear her say, do you have an A, ah? because you want her to be using those sounds. Um, with Soundo, it's like bingo, but when I call the um, call what they can put their marker on, instead of me saying F, and then they cover up their F on their board, I'm going to say F, I'm going to give them the sound instead. Just really that fluency and that just automaticity with the sounds is what you're looking for. And then you'll do another review and what you really what you want by this point by the time you're ready for this final review is for her to be able to read the this to blend and read this word all by herself and draw the line to match and then you're ready for your first little reader book so I hope that helps